get down straight ahead. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Brother, mainstream media, government cover ups. You want to stop tyranny? Well, so does he. Live from the Infowars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. Take me to the center. Take me through the centuries to supersonic years. Electrifying enemy is drowning in his The symptom of the universe is written in your eyes. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it is July 3rd on this Thursday global transmission. We are L-I-V-E. I'll be back this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Again, thank you so much for joining us. There is no doubt anyone who's ever lived at any experiences knows that dependency breeds sloth, envy, evil, corruption, decadence, unhealthiness, mental illness. Victor Hugo, one of my favorite people to quote, French statesman and philosopher said that prosperity makes monsters. Adversity makes men. I just kind of did it backwards. Adversity makes men, prosperity makes monsters. He also said no army can stop an idea whose time has come. And the globalists think that they're going to use high-tech systems 
to allow their dehumanization to finally work and that this time tyranny will really succeed. There's an ancient war by control freaks against independent people. They don't like men that are better than them independently. They don't like women that are better than them independently. They have always sought to create organizations and systems to crush the greater spirits. And that's what this is all about, ladies and gentlemen. They are at war with us. And you are an independent, strong person who has dignity and who values being a good, honorable person. And they don't like that. And they're going to come after you. You don't want power. You don't want to run things. You don't want to boss people around. You don't want to be in control. You have enough dignity to not want to run other people's lives. Well, I got news for you. You're going to have to step up and take control of things or you're going to lose your freedom. We have now entered the most decadent cycle this world has undoubtedly ever seen. Every major historian, every major social critic, psychologist, anthropologist, they're all on records from different perspectives. I don't care if it's George Will or Camille Paglia. I don't care if it's Dinesh D'Souza or Michael Savage. I don't care who the researcher is, left, right, center, libertarian, it doesn't matter. Humanity is entering the great crisis. <clears throat> and corruption is accelerating and hiding in the complexity. But if we, the good men and women out there, who aren't perfect but have a heart that loves justice, stop complying with open tyranny, rediscover our human dignity, Oppression and all of its diseases will vanish like phantoms at dawn. Like mist at dawn, to quote Thomas Jefferson. I'm paraphrasing the quote. But if the people are educated in basic liberty and armed and ready to defend their freedom, tyranny and all of its corruptions will fade like the mist of phantoms at dawn. That's my own paraphrase of the larger quote that I haven't read in years. Look up a Thomas Jefferson quote about phantoms at dawn. I can give people the actual quote. That's what's going on here. Ignoring it doesn't make it go away. It makes it worse. And, and we've now reached that breach point that, that, I, that I could intellectually see, but also at my gut level feel the last few years where wars are starting from Central Europe to Eastern Europe, the Middle East to Africa to Asia, with China threatening to attack not just Japan now, but the Philippines, the Philippines, officially a, a month ago said we may just take major islands like the Japanese did in uh, World War II. I mean, it, it's, it's, the headlines are so off the chart. And then mainstream news is covering the latest kidnapped child with Nancy Grace and how Alex Jones is deeply racist and behind the Boston bombings. Uh, and, 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 and how, you know, the alternative media needs to be shut down because it's evil and how horrible Drudge is. I mean, it's Twilight Zone, folks. The White House has media matters every day attacking this operation and, uh, and, and, and other pro-liberty operations wanting us shut down. What does that tell you about the all-powerful Sauron that is supposedly the New World Order? They're not that powerful. We could shake them off like fleas if we ever decided to do it. And they know that, they found the quote, enlighten the people generally and tyranny and oppressions of body and mind will vanish like evil spirits at the dawn of day. Thomas Jefferson. And there's a longer quote that I conflated with that earlier part, but yeah, evil spirits, not phantoms. Yeah. Were you just on air, CJ? I'm glad you are, because when you talk to me, that's why you're you're welcome to pop in anytime you want. Thanks. Because sir. it sounds like I'm talking to myself when you talk to me. I go, yeah, that's right. It's like talking to a fan. My dad's heard it before and go, who are you talking? To? I sound like a crazy person. I already am obviously insane. So please, don't, ladies and gentlemen, don't. Alex is uh, talking to a real human being. <laughs> All right.
I should probably open the phones up. I mean, there's just so much news here. Toll-free number to join us. First-time callers on this Thursday that feels like a Friday. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. In California and other states, people are going out with American flags to their border that's been collapsed where the Homeland Security black buses pull in now from Mexico. They're not even dropping them off at the border now. They're just bringing them in to then be deployed by the tens of thousands every few days as Democratic Party voters, as Colorado and other states vote to give them driver's license to vote. So all of this is going on right now. All of this is unfolding right now. And, and I, mean, I, mean, I mean, imagine if Mexico was busing U.S. citizens in by the tens of thousands every few days and giving us welfare and letting us vote. You would have Mexicans on their border protesting it. I mean, what are you if you're a citizen and pay taxes? What what is it if you are a citizen and then you pay for everything but get nothing? The veterans are having their health care cut so they can enroll illegals. That's in the news. That's now on Fox News last night on Neil Cavuto with whistleblowers that have told Congress this and nothing's being done. I mean, it's all a fraud. And then Obama's up there going, you darn anti-immigrant racist in his speech on the, over the weekend. Another speech he gave a few days ago. We played clips here. How dare you not do anything about the border? That's why this is happening. And all of this is going on while every other form of lawlessness you can imagine is unfolding. And, and then Hillary Clinton and Nancy Pelosi and Petraeus and all of them are saying at all these big think tank meetings, no, this is about North America. What comes after America? North America. That's why they have U.S. troops at, at public events patrolling Canada. I mean, that's in the Toronto Star. That's in the National Post. Look it up. Mexican and Canadian troops are to patrol America. Canadian and U.S. troops are to patrol Mexico. And vice versa. And, you know, I've got family in the last year who isn't in Afghanistan or Iraq anymore running helicopter operations and ground operations, you name it. They're, they're in Mexico. And I don't just mean northern Mexico. I mean deep in Mexico. All State Department run. And the public doesn't even know this is going on. We had Celica Steele, former DEA agent, retired Vietnam veteran, been a Border Patrol agent after Vietnam, became a DEA, saying eight years ago on this show, 2005, as it was eight years ago, nine years ago, the videos are public saying our government's training Los Zetas is a CIA secret army to destabilize and collapse Mexico into the United States, and they're going to bring in martial law using it. And then Selly, they, they came to Selly and said, yeah, we heard your interview. He did another interview with us, and they said, in studio, with video, he was in Kevin Booth's documentary that aired on Showtime as well about it. And they came to him and they said, you need to shut up. He's a school teacher in South Texas. And then because he was in a divorce and stuff, he had to sell his 20 guns to get money. And he moved into a trailer. You know how divorces are. No criminal record, school teacher in McAllen. And he went to the gun show at three gun shows and sold his guns. And a buddy kept saying, sell me another shotgun, sell me another shotgun. So he finally sold him a shotgun, just like the Green Beret uh, with Ruby Ridge. And the state police pulled him over the ATF and said, you're going to prison. And they railroaded him into prison for three years for gun running because he sold his guns. They set him up. That's why I've had family even say, hey, I want to buy that gun from you. No, I'm not even selling it to you. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's crazy, ladies and gentlemen, how screwed up this country is. And, of course, everything Sully said came out. It came out in the El Paso Times. About three years ago, and it came out in the Chicago Tribune three years ago, and then over the last two years, years after Kurt Nemo reported on it, we reported on it, that Los Zetas is totally CIA run, came out in federal court, 
to knock out the other groups and destabilize Mexico. So the globalists are collapsing.